Hey, what's happening, guys? Well, by the time you're watching this video, it will be Holy Saturday, or could even be Easter Sunday to you, depending on where you live. So let me just take this opportunity to wish you a happy Easter and to let you know there's not going to be a video tomorrow on Easter Sunday. That being said, I'm recording this on Good Friday, and I am enjoying a nice glass of of sangria. So, what you see here is the transistor circuit we did in the video a few days ago about biasing the transistor. That's a 2N2222 uh, two two NPN transistor. And we're going to we're going to use the circuit again today and what we're going to talk about is the effects that temperature have on transistor gain so if we fire up the tester here this is another 2222 you can see that our gain is 287 287 average you know transistor gain now um, a couple of you guys had mentioned that there were a lot of wires in this circuit and you're right there is but they're not that complicated so I'm going to show you what each one does here as we hook it up all right so to understand all those wires we're going to break it down into three parts uh, circuit power signal input and circuit monitoring and let's start out with circuit power so for that we're going to use uh, power supply bear with me here as we swing on over oh hello doesn't kind of want to sit there very nicely does it okay so we're going to use the Panovo power supply a little switch mode actually have actually a pretty decent power supply we'll turn her on 12 volts Want relatively low amps half an amp that's good enough okay so we need to apply the 12 volts to our circuit ground rail positive rail and we'll just hook them up very simply like that next we need an input signal and for that we're going to use the field tech arbitrary wave generator if I can swing this thing around all the way okay I had to move my camera mount to its auxiliary position but we'll hook it up here and uh, let's zoom in so you can see what we're doing okay so we have our frequency is one kilohertz our amplitude is one volt peak to peak no attenuation no offset 50 percent duty cycle and it is a sine wave and that outputs to these crock clip crock clips here that we will now go over and attach to the circuit okay so our signal in goes there on that capacitor and we'll need another ground it's not really another ground it's the same ground we'll just need another connection to it and then we'll hook up our connections always hook up our common first and now we have a signal we will need one more thing and that is the output which is right there so now that we have all that set up we can set up our oscilloscope and do the monitoring so I'm going to rotate you up here to the signal oscilloscope power that up and have some sangria okay so we have our two channels here our pink 
is channel 2 and yellow is channel 1 so let's go back to the circuit and hook our probes up there's yellow channel 1 which we will connect to the input side there's ground and there's our signal and if I rotate up here for you guys there you can see channel 1 okay now it's time for channel 2 the pinkish purplish colored lead once again I'm gonna hook up our common first and then our signal okay then we'll take a look at that on the scope all right there we are looking at it at room temperature it looks a little odd today we got some sort of uh, inversion going on there and again that's one of the reasons I said that this is just not a really practical circuit you know it just temperature just plays a huge effect in it all right so there's that now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take that transistor out of there we're gonna heat it up and then we're gonna retry the circuit okie dokie so there's our 2N2222 out of the circuit and we're just going to lightly toast it over an open flame not for too long just want to get it nice and warm let's see a little bit more then we'll start by putting it in the analyzer and then we'll uh, put it back in the circuit Is that warm yeah it's pretty warm okay so let's take it out of here put it in the analyzer remember our room temperature gain was 287 well that didn't change it much at all I guess I didn't oh, I got it pretty hot let me heat it up some more I'll be right back it's hot now it's burnt my fingers look at that gain of 453 all right let's put it in the circuit if I can do it without burning myself too badly again gotta spread those legs out get in there I'm trying to do this all live so you guys don't think I'm cheating so there's always somebody thinks I'm cheating okay so there it is we saw our gain is not quite doubled but a bit and there's the effect on the scope okay next I'm gonna freeze one well I'm gonna freeze the same one obviously and then we'll be back alright so this has been in the freezer for a few hours oops same one we've used all throughout our experiments let's put it in the uh, tester here I'm trying not to touch it with my fingers and 
absorb any of the heat. So freezing it really made no difference at all. We'll pop it back in the circuit. And you should be able to see that it looks much like our original circuit. All right, let me get the scope ready. All right, here we go. And if we come in there and look at the scope, it looks exactly like the original. So affected more by heat, less by cold. And there you can see the effects of temperature on a uh, 2N2222BJT transistor. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Happy Easter. That's it. I'm out. Peace.